Hello, and welcome to Bug Out with Bree. Bree here, Education Programs Coordinator at the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. This week, we'll dive into the world of amphibians, more specifically, salamanders. No, they aren't bugs, but you just may find them hiding under rocks and logs in your own backyard. This episode will be part of a limited series called Backyard with Bree where we'll learn about amphibians, reptiles, and other backyard creatures you might find in your own neighborhood. First, let's go over what an amphibian is. Amphibians are vertebrates, meaning they have a backbone. Amphibian skin is often smooth and slimy, but can sometimes be bumpy. They can breathe through their skin, as well as their lungs in some cases. Amphibians are cold-blooded and they have a unique life cycle. They start out in their larval stage as a fish-like, water-dwelling organism, then change to a terrestrial animal that is better suited to live on land. Now salamanders are interesting creatures. They are amphibians that look like a cross between a frog and a lizard. They have slender bodies, blunt snouts, short limbs, moist skin, and have a tail in both larval and adult stages. Salamanders need to stay cool and moist to survive and are usually found in shady forested areas. They spend most of their time staying out of the sun under rocks and logs or in burrows they've dug in the damp dirt. The best time to look for salamanders is usually after rainfall since the grounds are wet. Some species seek out a pool of water where they can breed and lay their eggs before returning to land. Other species can spend their entire lives in the water, like the oxalotl. All salamanders are carnivores and tend to eat slow-moving, soft-bodied organisms, such as earthworms, slugs, snails, and other small invertebrates. But salamanders can also be prey. However, they have evolved specific traits to avoid predation. Some salamanders have brightly colored, poisonous skin that tells the predator they are not safe to eat, while others have a number of glands on the back of their neck or tail that can secrete poison or bad tasting liquid. Some salamanders, like the California slender salamander, can shed their tail during an attack and grow a new one later. The Incitina, another California native, stands high on its legs and wave its tail to scare away any danger. You may be wondering, what's the difference between a newt and a salamander? In short, the word salamander is the name for the entire group of amphibians that have tails as adults, salamandridae. However, newts often have rougher, warty skin and are usually considered semi-aquatic. But it's important to remember, a newt is always a salamander, but a salamander is not always a newt. Salamanders are found wherever they can hide, in cool, moist places. Next rainfall, take a look at what's living under rocks and logs. Be very gentle with these species. Their skin is very sensitive and potentially toxic. It's best to just look from afar. Stay safe and stay creepy. See you next time on the next Bug Out with Bree.